these functions help you create calculation based on the dates and times. Many of the functions in DAX are similar to the Excel date and time functions. However, DAX functions use a date time data type and take values from a column as an argument. In this series of DAX functions, we'll learn how much useful these functions are and we'll see the demonstration of them. But first, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so you can never miss any video by CodeGems. At first, we will see some calendar and calendar auto functions. What is calendar functions? Calendar returns a table with a single column named date that contains a contiguous set of dates. The range of dates is from the specified start date to, to the specified end date, inclusive of those two dates. Let's see some problems. What are the problems with the calendar function? Let's say if we have a range minimum from 2012 with the month of March and a maximum value of 2020 with the month of May. Here, if you want a date prior to 2018 and beyond 2020, so it won't expand. You have to come back again and edit this function to get the range of the desired date. Instead of it, you can use the calendar auto functions which generates the date column automatically based on the data in the model. Let's see some syntax. Here's the syntax. We have a calendar function over here and first argument we will take that is start date and the second word is the end date. Let's quickly see a practical demonstration of the calendar function in Power BI. I will go to modeling, go to new table. Here I will give a name to my column calendar demo. I will use a calendar function in which I will set up a start date and end date. So I will use the date function right now over here. So we have uh, year 2020, month 1 and day 1. I will close the bracket comma and the end date and it follow with the date function we have 2021 and year month uh, sorry month one and uh, the day one I'll close the bracket hit enter so you can see over here we have the calendar demo fields created now I will go to the data model the data tab so you can see over here we have the range of 2020 year first month and January and the day one so we have first date over here and this will range from this January to the 2021 January I will go way down into the table you can see over here we had 2021 with the day one and the month one so this is uh, the calendar function right now uh, what i will do i will use a function called today and hit enter now you can see over here we have the initial value of 2020 day one and month one so we have this one and what the today function will do it will give you the date of today like today is 26th of july and the month is 7 and the year is 2021 so this is the demonstration of calendar function. Now quickly move to the calendar auto function. Before going into the practical demonstration, we'll go towards some definition. Calendar auto function returns a table with a single column named date that contains a contiguous set of dates. The range of dates is, uh, are calculated automatically based on the data in the model. This is the basic difference of calendar auto functions with respect to the calendar function. Like it will work with the help of the data model that is present currently in the Power BI desktop. So it, it will work on that uh, function or you can say uh, that methodology. Now we'll see some problems with the calendar auto function. An error is returned if the model does not contain any date time values which are not in, not in calculated columns or calculated tables. The functions is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or raw level security rules. 
Let's quickly see the practical demonstration of uh, calendar auto. First, I have to input the data. Before that, I will close uh, or delete that model. I will go to input the data from Excel, desktop, calendar auto function, sales by manager. Hit open. Okay. So, yes, we have the sheet 2 available for for the demonstration of calendar auto i will transform the data and open that that data set in the power theory editor so we have the better view of what we are doing so for calendar auto demonstration that that data set should have the date column so so because of this column it will auto generate the date ranges so i will go back and uh, close this one because we have uh, good data and we have structured data so we have got the fields over here with the, the with the with the name of sheet 2 now i will go to modeling and the new table and i will write over here calendar auto demo for my column name and i will write calendar auto over here right now you can see over here we can take fiscal year and month as an argument but it is it is optional so right now I will only close the bracket and hit enter and let's see what happens uh, with with our data if I go to the data tab right now you can see over here that calendar auto demo we have the data of 2021 yes so here we have the 31st day and the month is December so we have uh, this range available in the calendar auto function and why do we have that date because if I go towards our our basic data set so you can see over here we have only 2021 year in our previous data set so these these dates range in this calendar auto demo is generated with the help of the available date column in our other data set or you can say in our in our in our other tables so just because of this column we have this range available over here now we will uh, go towards uh, to the function again and uh, we will see what will the argument will do after we put it into uh, into the function if i hit enter you can see over here we have the the three number written over here so that is january february february and march so this is the number number third month of march of the year so we have uh, the range is starting from the fourth month of that of that year like uh, this is called the fiscal year what is fiscal year fiscal year is that is uh, like uh, this is a business year for uh, for every country for every firm for every organization there there, there is a different set of year like uh, in our company uh, we we have from from june 2020 to july 2021 this is our fiscal year so if uh, if you put that number three over here so it will give you the result from the number uh, fourth of that month like if you are entering march over here so you have the april range is starting from from this column so it will lead you towards the end of 2021 with the third month of uh, that year so this is called the fiscal years and we can and with the help of that create a date range of the fiscal year and most importantly this is the optional value so you can uh, just have the calendar auto with no uh, argument or for the fiscal year you can create you can give any kind of number over here so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can never miss any video by code gems